ready now, June? Sorry. <laughs> Jimmy's <laughs> catches me out, doesn't she? Hi, everyone. Long time no see. I well, hope you're well. We, I'm uh, sorry. Welcome to Disley Sisters Knitting Podcast. I'm Linda. I'm June. And uh, we love to knit, crochet. June's the seamstress. And today we are going to be sharing our finished projects for September. Um, our work's in progress, what we're actually working on at the moment. And June's got a new bag to share with you as well today. And uh, then we, um, today being the 3rd of October, <gasps> Stephen West's Mystery Knit Along starts today. And we're so excited. We've had a little look on that. And because yep. uh, Thursday morning's a busy day, so we're, this afternoon... That's all we're going to be doing is the mystery knit along. So we're really excited to make a start on that because, as you know, Stephen helped us with our <laughs> with our yarn, with our yarn. So, without further ado, oh, and everything that I talk about patterns, shop, um, yarn, um, all be in the description box below, and uh, you can find Disley Sisters Creations on Facebook on instagram and june has her own facebook and instagram instagram and i as you know i'm everywhere so <laughs> so should we make a start do you want to go first how many finished projects have you got june yeah, four well i've got four to share but i have done five and i can't show the fifth one well i'll talk about the first one which is the framed um sweater Rhinebeck sweater by Andrea Maori and Sophie from Botanical Yards messaged me and asked me if I uh, if I would make the jumper for her uh, the sweater for her because she's moved into new premises and she her heads all over the space so I did I made it I finished it well in time she wanted it for the 11th of October and um, I finished it last week and I sent it to her on Monday she's received it she's more than happy with it and um, I will put a picture at the end of the video uh, to show the finished project sweater it really is nice it was bright pink um i can't remember the name of it mand mandalore or something like that um with um it's like pampas the color and that went with it and it was really nice it was a nice knit i enjoyed it but i was glad it was finished and i learned something new from it tubular bind off which i've never done before and watch this space i'll be doing it again guys it fabulous so anyway so do you want to go first this time oh my god got four i am on it of course you're on it the fact that i've got four as well i know and i'm just like there are any smalls like bought four one projects of four projects guys one considering of... we've been to amsterdam mm -hmm. and we've been to the show a, 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 and a retreat and a retreat and that so we have been busy so yeah so but yeah. i'm proud of you yes. go on then show your first one right so my first one is called the sophie scarf everybody in the knitting that have been making these and i just thought these would be nice for little gifts so i've made mine a little bit longer because i've got this is a present as well by the way just the girls just wear them and I just think they're just so like nice. Yeah, keep your neck warm. Yeah. So this is got it here. This is called the Sophie Scarf by Petite Knits. Which is that one? Which is absolutely they are they're easy to make, beautiful to make. They're just rolled up. Mm -hmm. So I am making more by the way. And I made this in sorry, I've just got it written down on my little book. Uh, Rico, what's I say? Rico Rumi. Rico Rumi. Like, yeah, McRumi yeah, yarn, yarn by Rico. Yeah, and it was in our um, in our Black Sheep Wool's retreat little bag. gift bag that yeah. we got. So I had one and Linda had one, and I just pinch Linda's like you do. <laughs> so yeah, so that's my first finished object, which is my Sophie scarf. Wonderful. Better take it off because um, it's a present. So my first finished project is a hat and I've been using 
Um, this is Stylecraft Iron. Yes. And I've just been using um, scraps that are left. And this is just one of them that I actually managed to make in September. And <laughs> I don't like hats. I don't suit them at all. But anyway, so yeah, it's a bit... Um, it is a lovely, um, and I made my own pattern up. I did, um, what did I do? I did every other, every other stick, every other double crochet. This is US terms. I missed one, um, and then double crochet into the front, missed one. Oh, I know what I did. I did front and back, front and back, and then on the next row, I alternated it so it gives it that texture, and then obviously, I did the um, the fold. And just fold it back up and uh, yeah, so that is my, and I used, oh I said have a nice style craft, this is 100% um, acrylic, premium acrylic by style craft, so quite like that. Very good, mm -hmm. lovely, beautiful, thank you, you're welcome. My next one is a pattern I got from, off Zara, um, from our retreat yeah from our retreat yeah and it's called the spring flingamous shorts and if this one is a really good pattern because it's got a knitting one and it also does a crocheted so that's the knit one and that's the crocheted one let's see oh yeah nice so i did it knit and i use style crafts boutique element swale and it's called uh, one of the women from the knit and natter was looking at it and I was like, oh, that's really nice. She do this one's nice. And I looked at it and it, it was called Rain. And as you all know, I've got a little miniature Yorkie called Rain. So I bought it. So this is also a gift. Um, but this one, the bottom of it. We didn't like. I said it looks scruffy. Yeah. So I added my shells onto the bottom, if you can see. So she crocheted the bottom, isn't that lovely? I love this colour, it looks really autumnal, a really nice autumnal. Um, so I don't know, I don't, yeah, know I, you, I don't know how you put it on, but it's like very, very long. Yeah, it's lovely. But you wear it more like a like a cowley kind of what thing. What you do is do That's something. supposed to come, that pattern is supposed to be at the front there like that. Yeah. So yeah, so you wear it like what she's got it on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can tuck that under yeah. there like that. So that's a Christmas present, part of a Christmas Isn't that lovely? for someone. I really like that, and we we really do like style craft yarn. Um, for uh, because it's inexpensive, it, it it's acrylic, but it's like a premium acrylic, mm. and it, it, it. I think that was saying three ninety nine. Yeah, for a hundred gram, mm -hmm. and I used. Um, I think I ended up, it was in like a cake and I think the, what I've got left is about that big. So about 50 grams. About 50, so it took about 150 grams to yeah. make that. But it, it's, um, and we really do like yeah. style craft. Yeah. Um, I just thought it was a nice autumnal colours. And I, I, actually I, I think I quite like the um, the way you've crocheted and I, and I do that when mm. I do shawls, like with this shawl, this was the make along for last year. I actually, because the, uh, uh, everybody in the end just interpreted, I added the um, a pat, um, a crochet pattern to it that looked similar to the pattern that was knitted. And um, I really, I really like it, it just makes it. I don't know, it just finishes it off. For me, crochet, if you know, if you've got a knitted pattern and you're lucky and you can crochet as well, sometimes just to make it that little bit different is nice to add yeah. a touch of crochet to it. Yeah, see that was the that was the pattern that was supposed to be on the bottom of it. And I I, I started it and I just thought, oh, don't like that. So I unpicked it. And that's the beauty, isn't it, of 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 um patterns you kind of adapt them to yeah. suit yeah. your likes and dislikes you know if you've got a pattern but you really love it but you don't like the way a certain pattern is or, or that you can always change it and i think that is lovely and i just thought you know i've not got my works in progress yet out 
crawl over there on the shelf. Oh, Glenda's got no works in progress. I have, everyone. I have. How many have you got? Four. Four. One, two, three, four, yeah. I've still got mine. They're all, I've, I've written them down, but they're all over there. <laughs> so I need to get up and... So that's my second. So my second is... Um, a retreat, something I've finished. When we went to the retreat, we were all given this pattern, which is the jewelled cowl by Nitty Mo. And I used um, West Yorkshire Spinners Exquisite, is it? Mm. The Exquisite. And um, this is, um, is this called Amethyst? Was, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. So this is the Amethyst, and we had beads. So. I haven't done it as long as the pattern calls for. I, I've not blocked it yet, but it is really, really nice. Um, I've given the stars of mine. I haven't even looked at it. So, you know, you can... And I, I really do need to block this. And, in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo the cast-off edge and do the tubular bind-off. I think I'm going to do that. But... Um, it's really nice West Yorkshire Spinners um, yarn um, it's in Hanks and I've even bought um, the yarn, this colour yarn to make that cardigan the, mm. you know from the pattern book so um, yeah I really really like this and I'm, I'm not sure if you can see the beads can you see them yeah. if I bring it closer so I, I kind of I think I was about I think I was about 10 rows short and I thought I've had enough now and it can sit over my shoulders obviously it will sit over my shoulders I nearly said something else then sorry guys once I've blocked it it will sit over my shoulders and you know it will it will sit over their shoulders <laughs> it will She'll make guys. it sit I'll make it I nearly said it myself <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so yeah, so this is my second. It's really nice. I need to wash it and block it. Well, I need to soak it and block it. So yeah, so I'm quite happy with that. Or is that the cast? Hold on, that's the cast on edge. Oh yeah, that's the cast on edge. This is the. I did the wrong way around, guys. Anyway, it doesn't matter. But yeah, that's that's my second finished project for September. I'm quite pleased with myself. So have you got okay so my third is as you know now i made this in green what color green was it emerald remember it had no color on yes yeah, i think we said it was emerald green yeah, didn't yeah. we so as you know love this absolutely love the way i am more more now going more to um top down but this is a uh, bottom up but all in one and then you add the sleeves and then you come to the top and realized that in my other one i didn't do the short rows <laughs> so this time i was like linda what's this mean and she was like the short rows linda june and i went what short rows <laughs> i didn't do the short rows in the other one but still look nice still yeah. look lovely everyone comments says how beautiful it is so I've made this in, as you know, my Wendy. Love Wendy double knit. Absolutely love it. And I've made it in turquoise. Isn't that lovely? Love them. Absolutely love them. Just so nice. And it, it is turquoise. It doesn't it looks more like a greeny on the camera, doesn't it? Yeah. But, but it, it is, is it's, it's a turquoise. turquoise green. Turquoise. It's absolutely beautiful. The pattern is beautiful. I yeah. love that pattern. And then I went into Black Sheep Walls and they also ha they have it in a book. And in the book you can do longer sleeves. Mm -hmm. But I quite these these come to about there. Just at the crease. Just before of your, you the crease of your elbow. It is it is really nice. I love the Wendy yarn. Yeah. And I like the um the through back of loop. You know, the yeah. twisted rib. That's one of my favourite ribs. Yeah. So, yeah, so that's my third for September. Third. Third for September. Yes. Very clever. My final one is a real. Yes. Well, so. I'll just say the final one, guys. 
she surprised me anyway my third one is i cannot rave enough about this yarn for socks guys it's yarn smiths and you can get it from wool warehouse and it is the most softest isn't it yeah yeah and this is what's left of a hundred grams um so that I've made a pair of socks, they're a Christmas gift and they're 100 grams, 3.5 ounces, 400 metres, 437 yards. It's 75% merino wool with 25% nylon and I've made a pair of socks and they're more or less twins Ooh. except for the toe. I don't know, it gets to... So anyway, these are, this is the the sock the pattern and um, I love the way it worked up and there's the second one A really really nice pair of socks I did 64 64 inch uh, 64 stitches I do I do 20 rows of um, knit one pale one twisted rib um, I've done 60 rows for the leg and then I do my favourite heel flap and gusset and then I've done 60 rows for the foot and that so yeah so there we go I need to check this so yeah so they are finished pair of socks oh and the knob shade for this is 2G090 and the dye lot is 01. So yeah, I can't rave about these yarn smiths, merino socks. And I've actually got a sweater's worth of, uh, of the yarn to make um, Samantha Gerin's Bonfires tea. So, really nice yarn. So that's that one. That's your last one. So my fourth one um, was my secret project that I've been doing. Just like watching when I've been watching a film or when I've just had a minute. So I said to Linda, do you want to see what my surprise is? So let me talk about the yarn first. Let me find the little labels. So these were a gift of the lovely Susanna from... Australia. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, what? What's? Is it not? No. What's a uh, not ye old. old crochet? Yeah, yeah. Um, and she sent us a lovely gift, and it's hand dyed in Tasmanian from Australian merino wool, and it's eighty five percent superwash Australian merino and fifteen percent nylon, and she sent me a. Um, Lagoon. Lagoon for in a hundred gram and she sent me a mini skein 20 grams um just that that's all that's on it called ocean mist so they were off the lovely Susanna which I was absolutely that was my first ever happy mail mm -hmm. wasn't it yeah which just blew me away and these are the colours and you'll know what I've made in a minute I'm gonna show you so proud of myself so that is the lagoon yeah that's the lagoon which is that one hold that for me and this one is the ocean mist which is absolutely beautiful i was blown away when linda said to me i have a happy mail here for you so i've done this all by myself I've done it following Linda's pattern. Tutorial. Tutorial. And the pattern I wrote out. I've made myself one sock peep. Isn't that fab? So I'm... made up with it. My little socky. Did you so... cast on 64? Yes. Yes. Exactly what I had written down in my book. That's exactly what I did. Fabulous. Yes. So that's, really so proud of it. So that's my sock. And she didn't even ask me for help. Nope. Just nope. What, followed my yep. tutorial. I when I come to do the heel flap and gusset, I watch the, the tutorial again. 
but doing this and doing that and then I never even got any help to do the tub. I did it myself. The kitchen is stitched. Yep, yeah, because I didn't want her to know I was doing it. So I am so proud of myself. And I, I was looking at it and I thought, that looks longer than the ones I made in Turkey. And when I had, I'd done 10 rows too many. So I know, so I know there I need to do 10 rows less. Just put your yarn So in Susanna, they are, that's one made out of the lovely yarn you sent me last year. Last year? Yeah, it was last, last year. Last year as Happy Mail, first ever Happy Mail. So that's what I've made up to now. Susanna, very, thank you so, so much for the Happy Mail. I was made up of it, so I thought I've got to make me sock out of Susanna's mm -hmm. yarn. Yeah, so I was made up. So that's my first socky ever on my own. Well done. Well so I've done. got to cast on the other one now. Yeah. And my last, my last, um, Finished project. So I've got mental. mental. She's got mental block today. We've had so much to do today. Yeah. So I have made again. This is Style Crafts um, light. Uh, it's eighty percent acrylic, twenty percent wool, and this is what I've made. The pattern is up. Can you just hold that for me a minute, please? Which? The hanger? Yeah, please. So the pattern is on the one side with three-quarter length sleeves. I've done, again, my favourite twisted rib. I'll show you the pattern. It's a King Cole pattern, actually. Um, this is the one. And as you can see with the um, this one, the pattern is just up the one side. And I did it up the one side. It fits lovely. Um, the neckline... I wasn't too, I went after I'd done the neckline and I tried it on it was showing my bra strap so what I did was I just went around it in single crochet and I just single crocheted but I really like the way it rolls here and I've got a black dress with short sleeves and it's got a floaty skirt so it's kind of like t-shirt material on the top but then it's fabric you know what we'd call cotton. cotton material with pockets and it look with i put it on with it and obviously with the black and whatever and then put that on and it just looked like i had a skirt on so that uh, that would be really nice and obviously because there's black neps in this if you can see all the neps um it just went really well it looked really really nice so i think when we when we go out on sunday i think i might wear that with them um, with my skirt I mm. think it will look nice mm. and my big black fake tights and my shoes so I really like this I did the did the second size did I do no I did the first size because it comes out at 37 and I'm only a 36 but there's that you know that e positive that ease for it so yeah I really enjoyed knitting that I couldn't wait to get it finished and I really like and the back kind of curls as well so very nice. I, I think I might do that again, but I don't think, I think next time I'll do it, I'll put, instead of having the pattern on the end, what I think I might do is I, I might put a pattern of my own up the front. I'm going to make that, but make that one. You're going to make that one? Yeah, at the back So one. would you like to take the pattern? Then? No, I've got it already. Oh, well, have you got it? Yeah. Oh, right, okay. Right, okay. Okay. Thank so, you. Thank you, baby. To have yeah, it. so that is... Um, finished that's all the finished projects so i'm just going to I'm going to take a minute we're going to take a sit have a drink and i'm going to go sorry i've already had a drink and uh, it doesn't matter you um so we're going to go and have a two minute break while i i get all my wigs in progress i've only got well i've got more than four but i'm only showing you four so i'm allowed to show four because i've only got four yeah so we'll have four each and then uh, we'll show the bag and then we'll show you what we're doing for what what, what colour yarn we're doing for Stephen West for the make along so we'll see you again in two bins and we're back yes hi hi <laughs> we just had a nice drink and I had to get me wakes in progress and June said I could go first so my first work in progress is Stephen West Bryony sweater now, uh, June um, has already made this, and I am going. 
I'm using Blue Fern Yarns and this is called Amethyst and um, Platinum DK, 75% uh, Superwash Merino, 25% Nylon, 225 metres per 100 grams and it's bright blue fin. Um, I, I think I bought this last year didn't I or the mm. year before maybe, maybe uh, the year before I know I've had it a while anyway I started the bryonite and I'm going to do mine different to the pattern I've done the short rows I've divided for the sleeves and what I'm doing, I am just going to do stock and stitch because I know from the amount of yarn I've got that I'm not going to have enough to do the pattern all the way through the through the sweater. So, and it'll have three quarter length sleeves instead of long sleeves. So, I'm, I have done that. I am really loving this yarn. Blue Fair Yarn is um, another favourite. Um, they've just celebrated five years and um, so and um, so yeah so I've done this much now that I've separated I need to just stock and stitch I'll fly through this now because I can watch it while I watch Strictly Gum Dancing so that is number one and it's in my Taunton tote by June by yours truly so what's your first one, June? My first one is another Sophie scarf. Mm -hmm. Sophie scarf. Show the pattern, June. Another Sophie scarf. Another present. Another Christmas. Because Christmas is just 11 weeks, 12 weeks away. <laughs> and okay. it's... This is a present. And up to now, that's all I've done. Pretty easy pattern to just... I love the flip flops. I think this <laughs> very nice. That's the colour of the yarn. It's got specks of browns and All beiges. Yep. Yeah. And this one is oh, this nice. this this was gifted. Gifted from the lovely my um, partner in crime at the retreat, Lorraine. Lorraine. And it's style crafts colour twist. Which is a very old and it's called coconut. And it is a hundred percent premium acrylic, and there's two hundred and seventy-five meters, three hundred and one yards. So I saw it, and I was like, "Oh, I love them colours." Mm -hmm. So yes, yeah, so we that's... both got we both do. I mean, obviously, look, we both love our autumnal oh, colours, okay. don't you? Yeah. Even though you're a, a June baby and I'm a I am an autumn baby. My yeah. birthday's um, a few days after autumn starts. Yeah. Um. That we both love our autumn colours, don't yeah. we? And that's in my little Sheila bag. I have a bag that names after me mother. That's in my little Sheila bag. Yes. So that's my first. Okay. So, whip. Uh huh. So my second whip is in my Mary bag, which is so me, and it is another one by Stephen West. And I'm using Bird Street Yarn. This is called Kestrel. And as you can see, they are really autumnal colours. Uh, I think I got this at Newbury. Yeah. I got this at Newbury. And I uh, love it. And I've got the grey. Um, I have got the sticker. Let me see what this... Not Kestrel. Hold on. I have got the label for the grey one, I think. I should have. It's not in there. Um, let's see. I don't know where it's gone. It's not Never. in your book, is it? Go on, you talk about it now. So, anyway, this is what I've done so far. I'm nearly up to the... I'm nearly up to the... Oh, God, that's the back, so this is the front. So, it's... Um, it's called Mossy Mild and it is um, moss stitch. You do two rows, uh, knit one, peel one, and then the next two rows are knit one, peel one, but opposite. So you get the moss. And I absolutely love the feel, the texture of this. 
And the yarn is beautiful yarn. No, it's not here. It's not in there, is it? Might be. I'll have a look. So, yeah. So, this is the Mossy Mould by our, our lovely Stephen. Stephen yeah. And uh, I should just show you the pattern. In there, no. no, it's not in there. Let me see. It's like a Marley Grey. Yeah. It's a grey colour. Well, it is grey. But it's more like a... Here it is. A mold. Sorry, guys. There we go. The Mossy Mould Raglan sweater. Absolutely love it. So, yeah. And um, I, I quite like the... I wanted to incorporate the grey just to break it up. And I think that will look nice. I'm not. For, I think I've got another couple more rows to do, and then I split for the, I split for the sleeves. So I really like this, the raglan. I'm not sure if you can see it. There it is there. So yeah, I'm really really liking that. So thank you. That is my number two. I really do like the colours on that. I kind of. I, I really like, I, even though I like the solid colours sometimes, I think um, when you're making, when you buy a, a sweater, they're always a solid colour and I think sometimes um, a mauve nice yeah. Yeah, or a speckled mm -hmm. yarn is really nice. So, um, or a tonal even, so that's why I kind of, I like that for that sweater. So. That is number two. Well, you got so on, number two for me is when we were in the retreat, one of the women had made this Granny Square holiday bag. It's by Sarah, Black Sheep Wools. Yeah, and it was lovely. She'd done it with the strap, the long strap, hadn't she? And then there was another woman who'd done it in all her own colours, like really summery, yeah, in pastel colours. And instead of doing the big long strap, she'd got rope and made um, crochet around the rope, hadn't she? And made yeah. the handles, which is what I'm going to do. So this is my first ever crochet, proper crochet project, isn't it? Yeah, it for is. me. So my colours are, they're all Sadar Stories. Um, yeah, I don't mean to talk about the colours. Well, you show them. So the um, the specs for Sadar Stories is 50 grams, 140 meters, 153 yards, and this is called All Nighter, which is like a navy blue, which is the middle. Then my next one is Reunion. It's like a tealy green. The next one. Oh, this is called Reunion. Yeah. Yeah. This one's safe. It's more a turquoise colour. Yep. I'm sorry, the lighting outside, this, the clouds are coming. It was sunny before. Oh and this God. is surf. You took that one, didn't you? Oh, yeah, that's. Um, that's not skinny dipping, is it? I think it is, you know. That's skinny dipping, which is a pale blue. Yeah. Yeah, and then City Break is the grey. Yeah, and this uh, City Break then. So they're the colours that June's using. Yeah, I haven't finished me uh, I haven't finished me ends off yet. No. So that's what I'm making, but they should only be the size of the pale blue, up to the pale blue, but then you have to do the grey round them. But I've done a different pattern altogether. Mm -hmm. I decided to do like a, a round flower in the middle. So my bag is going to end up a bit bigger than it should. Mm -hmm. um, so I've done. But you're going to line it anyway, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of the black sheep wool bags, the canvas bags, remember, that yeah. we've got. I'm going to turn them so yeah. the writing's inside the bag. As you open it, you can see all. I'm going to add, obviously, a pocket and all that. So, yeah, so I'm going to redesign mine. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna make it with the um, But that that's give you a good idea, yeah, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So I know what I'm doing. Uh -huh. But I just need to Linda's gonna show me how to block them. I brought me blocking board and everything. So I need to get them blocked. I am gonna be making another one as well. Mm -hmm. You've got uh, autumnal colours. Yeah, yeah. That's gonna be really yeah. nice. Yeah. So that's what I'm making up to now. So I'm really made up. I'm proud of myself. I made all I crocheted all these at the retreat. Just bear with me. Just, just like, going to put the light on. Yep. So they're all my all my squares, all ready for my. Yes. 
Mm -hmm. For my bag, which, watch this space, can't wait to make it. I, I know I know in my mind's eye how it's going to look. It's just, yeah. And that's, that's the beauty of it, isn't it? With patterns, you can adapt them to how you like them. Yeah, yeah. And that, I hope the lighting above is uh, okay because <laughs> the sun's it's gone, guys. Gone it, was, it was beautiful yeah, this morning. Yeah, it was lovely. Wasn't it? We've been out, haven't we? Yeah. This, so we? this is me. I saw it and just thought, you know what? I'd love to have a go, but I didn't like. I didn't like the the pattern. I didn't like the square. Mm -hmm. So I went on YouTube. And there's enough squares out there. Have you seen that tin? Some people are making. Have you seen know, that box that has got all, oh, yeah, yeah. all different yeah. Um, patterns for yeah. granny squares? Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's in my first ever Disney bag I made. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is my material. Too, so it's not the one that I like. It is yours. Oh, it's mine. Yeah. Oh wow. Woo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. So, so that's my second. My third is colour work. And it's called Autumn Alpine by Caitlin Hunter. And you all know that I love Caitlin Hunter's um, patterns. And that is what I'm... Let me just take it out because so you don't get the glare of the... So that's it. And uh, I've nearly... Where am I up to? Uh, 48. So I've only got another 10 more rows of colour work. I'll ch show you the yarn that I'm using. I'm using Debbie Bliss. Uh, Debbie Bliss's yarn. Um, which I got from Love Crafts. And this is lilac. And I'm using lilac and navy. Um, Debbie Bliss. This is called Baby Cash Merino. And I tell you what, June. I would knit. Uh, this is a sport weight. And I've got quite a few patterns of sport weight. So I'm really... I'm really loving that. Feel how soft that is. Mm. So it's 55% uh, wool, 33% acrylic and 12% cashmere. It's uh, 50 grams, 125 meters. So I um, really, really like them colours together. Um, as you all know, any shade of purple is my favourite. So that's that. And this is what I've done so far. I've nearly, nearly, nearly finished the the um, the front. And you increase in the pattern. So can you just do all that and I can show them the, the pattern. So as you can see, I've just got the last, the leaf that's at the bottom. And then it's just plain sailing, stock and stitch then. This took a back burner because obviously I was doing the framed and um, for Sophie. So now I've picked this up and I've started knitting. Um, it, the, rows, I, the rows take me about 20 minutes a row because, you know, it's um, colour work. But I really like it. I'm really, really pleased with that. And I love, like blues, I love navy blue. Our school, my, well, was your school uniform blue as well? Because I know you went to a different senior school than I did. Mine was black with the, I wore a blazer and a tie in my school. Yeah. So, um, yeah, ours was um, navy blue. I went to posh school. <laughs> Please. Please. So, yeah, so anyway. I, what happened was we've got a middle sister between June and I and I went to senior school first obviously and then our middle sister joined me and then it hit then it would the year following June would have joined us and I turned around to mum and dad and said for the love of God please please don't let June come to mind I, I didn't said want to go to the great to there yeah you know, I said because I've got enough I get enough after I go off our dawn. When, so anyway, mum and dad listened to me. And I didn't want to go there any because half my mates, some, because uh, I just wanted to be, I wanted to go to a different school. Yeah. I wanted to make new friends. Yeah. And that's what I did. You yeah. put me there. Yeah. 
And in oh. hindsight, I wish I'd have gone there because the, the school actually opened the year that I started. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. anyway, but it is what it is. Yeah. I, I always say our, from the day we're born, our life is mapped out for us. And you just go yeah. with the flow. Yeah. Just go with the flow. Yeah. And, and to it, wear a tie and a blazer. Yeah. I think... And loved hockey. Loved hockey, didn't I? I did. I was... Oh, people hated when I was on a different team to them because I was a little demon for hockey. I remember playing it in fog once. Oh, yeah, we did. Yeah. Saturday match on the ho hockey pitch, playing in the fog. Yeah. Ref couldn't see what you're getting up to. And we did it uh, one one Hockey day. stick accidentally slipped on yeah. the opposite team. Oh, I'm so sorry. Did that hurt? <laughs> I know. Linda's got the hockey stick and she's got the ball run. I was yeah. I was in evil, but we did. I remember one day uh, we did uh, cross country running, and it was, it was freezing, and it was foggy, and. Uh, but you know what? When I'd done it, I felt so mm. proud of myself because I'd never done distance running before. I'm not a distance runner. Well, I wasn't. Um, but um, but I really enjoyed it. I, I was kind of all on cloud nine because, you know, it was, I was in kind of in the first batch of people coming back. No, mine was my school was just newly built on farmers fields. So I attached so where they hadn't built and sorted there was like pathways going around like where the old farmers fields were so we had to go and i always remember we always used to lag behind so we'd be the last group going and he knew what we could do he knew we could do it and one day he said right disley yes sir i expect you to be in either the first or the second group and i was like yeah okay sir and the girl said come on let's shock him and we were in the first group <laughs> See what I mean, Disley? I knew you could do it. Yeah. I was like, I was knackered. I was knackered. Yeah. I used to love hockey and I used to swim. Oh, I had yeah. all, all medals from swimming, didn't I? Yeah. Was really good at swimming. Yeah, you were. Yeah. yeah. You were yeah. like a, a water babe. Yeah. Well, not now. No, no. I mean, when we grew, we, we grew up in, I know we're going off at a tangent, but we, we lived in uh, Singapore. Um, and every Dad's, day we were in the baths. Yeah, and was the last posting in Malaya, Malaysia? No, it was Singapore. It was Singapore, wasn't it? Yeah. And and we used to go to school in the morning. Yeah. And then we'd come home and we'd go to the Soldiers' Arms, which was a, a public bath. Well, it was for soldiers, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. We'd go to the to the baths and all the children would be there and... Uh, with their pa you know, with your parents and whatever. And then one day I <laughs> says to my dad, I want to jump off the diving board. So he said, OK, come on then. So I get up and I get on the diving board. Only the, you know, the first one. And uh, I let all the other kids go. And my dad said, come on. So I said, you'll catch me, won't you, dad? You, you know, you catch me. Because I was like, anyway, I jumped in. I jumped in and swam to the end. My dad couldn't find me. He, he was panicking and i said dad i'm here you went you little bugger <laughs> i'd run and I'd, I'd swam underwater straight to the uh to the you know the the other end the other end my dad's like <laughs> you've i i've waited here for half an hour you've let all the other bloody kids jump before you and then you jump and you swim off we like quite a few like I saw when I was sorting all the photos I was after mum had passed and I was looking at all the photos and there's loads of us and uh, like swimming when we've been at the baths or, or anything and there's this one particular picture and Bernie went to Bernie my husband went to me in the name of God who's that kid and I went who and he showed me it and he went look at it a bra she got a bikini on and her bra's up, at the, up here so you can see her little boobies. And her pants look like the knicker part of them, the elastic. You know when you get out of the... And you, they go like when you were a kid and, and your, your little cozies always went back. It me, well, it was me. So my knickers looked like they were hand-me-downs from Linda. The knickers, because she was older than me. That, that's what it, And he went, in the name of God, who is that? And I went, what's wrong with it? 
And then he went, oh, and I went, that's me. And he went, look how perfect, I think it's you standing next to me. In this perfect bikini fit, lovely little kid's bikini. And there's me. One ponytail up here, one ponytail down here. The bra up here and the knickers, like, goes down here like that. With the, like, so obviously they're not pulled up properly. So the cheeks of them look like they're, like, dead baggy on me. And it was me, Miss Prim and Proper, Miss Tramp. As my dad used to call me, you tramp. What the get here? So what's your third project? Oh, sorry. My sorry, third project. Guys, we just went off reminiscing then, yeah. didn't we? My third project is a Christmas present for, I can't say you, just in case, like, the family's watching. But this is all done in Cedar... No, Stylecraft. No, it's not. Sorry, it's called Stylecraft. <laughs> sorry. It's all made in Stylecraft. Um, it's a hundred gram ball, and it is a hundred percent premium. And if you just give me a minute, I'll tell you the colours. I've got them all written down in my book, right? So I've done it in Suzette stitch. Sorry, it's pretty big now. Mm -hmm. So the bottom colour is soft peach. Then I've used warm grey to separate four rows of this, of the um. So twenty six for the main part and then I do four in the grey and then this is called powder pink then that's called candy floss that one's fondant that one's pale rose and the last one I'm doing is ra raspberry is, ras is going to be raspberry and then I'm going to repeat them again then yeah. so I'm going to go like from the same again I was going to go backwards but I don't think it'll look right yeah. so I'm going to go like the soft peach powder so I'm going to do it again so it's going to be a nice big throw for her yes she saw charlie's last christmas and um yeah i think she was a bit disappointed i haven't made her one but charlie's took me so long didn't he oh yeah charlie's was the uh, aaron wasn't it and waffle stitch and the waffle stitch and it was aaron so yeah so this is for her so yeah so that's me I think I started it in August, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm not doing too bad. And my Alpa Autumn Alpine is in my uh, Taunton Tote, which June made for us when we went to Newbury last year. Boss, I did. Mm -hmm. I can't I can't show you my one yet. But that my come up my Glory you mean that my blanket's in. Nearly said the person's name then. Because that's what I've been calling it. So yeah, so that's my my third, is it? Yes, your third. My third. It's my third. And my last one. This is Stephen West Heavy for me, guys. Stephen West Heavy. So while we were at the shop in Amsterdam, in Amsterdam. meeting our favourite designer. Yes, of all time. I... We went... I met him... And we were there for an, he, he spent an hour with us guys and then june and i went off and traipsed around and then obviously on the way back we stopped off we had to go past the shop to get to the train station to go back to the hotel so of course we had to call in again yeah because we'd been talking didn't we we'd be gone oh we'd, we'd gone around the shops and we would talk and we we and i'd said to linda did you see the bicycle stitch markers and she was like no i said see so while you were while you were down the bottom of the shop nosing before Stephen came in and gabbing to the ladies, I was looking at all the little nicks and knacks and they had bicycle stitch markers. So I said, I think I'm going to go back and get some bicycle stitch markers. That's all I was going back for. No, we didn't. No. That's so, all this is the Melting Marl Kerchief. And um, it's Stephen West, obviously, and I'm using I am using. Uh, let me just get me thingies out. I hope they're all in here. Yep, yeah, there we go. So I'm using for this. I am using Underground Otter, which oh, is fibers for. Um, 
What was it? What was it? Oh, it's yarn and fibres from Amsterdam, which I'm just chuffed to bits to have yarn from Amsterdam. It's a squirm sock, 80% superwash merino, 20% nylon. 100 grams, 400 meters, 437 yards, and it's 90s paper cup. That's the, the name of it, Squam 90s paper cup. And then for the mohair, now I've always struggled with mohair, really. I'm going to take all four up together. Yeah. You're so, using all four. Yeah, I'm using all four. So I've always struggled with mohair, but for some reason, this mohair doesn't affect me at all. So we've got, it's a West Wool's Glow Hair. Here we go, Glow Hair. And the, one of them is Norway. Then we've got Aquamarine, I think is that one. This one? Yeah, that one. Um, is the name? Oh, North Sea, I think is this one. Um, brackish is this one and that one's Norway because the Norway and the brackish are the num the um where oh and the, sorry guys it is west wool the mohair and that one looks like it's got like a, a gold running through it yeah that's why it's North Sea you know with the oil slicks and whatever yeah yeah um so this oh. is 210 meters 229 yards is 25 grams i it's 64 mohair 30 percent mulberry sick and i like silk and i think that's why there's not a lot of mohair in it mm. and it's silk and it just Lovely. doesn't affect it doesn't affect me usually when i touch mohair i i, I get kind of my hands swell but they've not swollen with this and this is what i've done so far this is what i've done so far guys oh you've got yeah mm -hmm. so this <coughs> is what i've done so far and what i'm doing um it's an eight row pattern repeat and um you you increase four until you've got 83 stitches on but i'm going to <coughs> i'm going to see how i but that is yeah let me just pick it up so you can see it's double moss stitch and uh, i just so you can see i've done a b uh a b and c um and it just does the the shades and i think I'm really really liking that and it's so soft to the skin it's like it's like knitting with a cloud <laughs> that's the only way I can describe it it is really. beautiful it is isn't it it's, it's not lovely. nice and soft you know it's not itchy to the skin you know I can sit with it and it doesn't doesn't bother me any other mohair and I, I just can't bear it but this is going to be so nice and warm in the winter so yeah, mm -hmm. I'm really into greens at the moment. Um, Wonder why? Um, because I've got I've got green. Um, I've done the pattern now. Oh well. Um, because um, I when I bought uh, we're going to be doing the treasure trove, aren't we? Some point maybe this year or next year, the treasure trove sweater, and um, I bought. I got browns i got autumn up to autumnal yeah and i went for the greens didn't i i mm. picked the one yarn up and and Stephen then said well what about this what about this what yeah. about this and we were playing with all colored yarn and that's amazing yeah just so, you just he said just choose your main color i said well i don't know which one i want and he said this one would i think this one would go lovely with you with my complexion so I thought, oh, that's nice. And then he just went, this, 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 put loads. I had them in my arms like mm -hmm. that, didn't I? And he just went, no, 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 no. And I ended up with three. Mm -hmm. And then my fourth was my main colour. Yeah. So, yeah, it's beautiful, beautiful um, mohair. Mind you, I, I like alpaca as well. I found that I can use alpaca, sorry, alpaca. I can use alpaca because uh, I've got a project that I'm working on. That is, I can't remember which one it is now. There is alpaca, oh, it's Rowan. 
so yeah so they are my four whips what's yours June my fourth whip is I told you Stephen West heavy <laughs> yep but you think it fed up with us Lisa talking about Stephen West it is Stephen West the bubble jumper so if you remember we went to Turkey and the whole point to be going to Turkey was to find my yarn for my bryonite came back went on a knit and natter and found the <laughs> blood orange blood orange and use that instead so i am using um cotton club elise cotton gold which is it just says cotton gold mm -hmm. yeah uh, color 314 it is 330 meters 361 yards doesn't say what it is there does it yeah well, I'll have a it's cotton yeah june it's 55 percent cotton and 45 percent acrylic right and the color that goes with it is sadar stories i bought this believe it or not to make one of the bags main color for the bags and it is when i find it it's henna the shade henna mm -hmm. and this is i've only got Ten more rows. Ten more rows, and I start the rib on the body. Look at that! Isn't that fabulous? And this is my bubble. How lovely! I am absolutely got the right way, June. Yes. yes, I'm absolutely over the moon with that. Can't wait! It is lovely. The yarn is be it's so soft. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to finish it and wear it. I've even been out and bought brown pants, haven't I, mm -hmm. to go with it especially so yes yeah, so i've got 10 more rows are you going to do like three quarters i'm going to do this i'm going to make them to come there and then the rib to be there yeah i think on this one so like a three quarter yeah don't like long sleeves no. but yeah made up with that absolutely chuffed loved doing the pattern mm -hmm. um yeah trying to talk michael into wanting one he loves the pattern said he really loved it and i said if you want me to make you one let me know and i shall make you one but yeah that's my stephen west's bubble and they're the colors aren't yeah. they gorgeous so easy to make so and the soft. short rows short rows and believe it or not the composition of both yarns looks exactly the same because this is 60 percent cotton 40 acrylic and this is 55 cotton and 45 across yeah 55 45 and this is 60 40 yeah fabulous guys yeah. <coughs> yeah. so yeah i think I, I think i have got 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 oh no i haven't got about six more rows before my ribbon so yes i can't lovely. wait can't wait to finish it mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think I don't know whether I'll make another one because I want to make I want it. There's a couple of his I quite like to, mm -hmm. and I want to make, especially the treasure trove. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So yes, yeah, so that's my fight, my fourth and final. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, it is. <coughs> Thank you. <coughs> oh. 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 So, <laughs> sorry, just throwing everything round. Sorry guys, just need to get a drink. I've got a tickle. Ooh. Got a tickle, tickle. So, what are we talking about now? June has made, made us some bags for the retreat that we went to at Black Sheep Walls. And she made an extra one. We're calling them the, jo called the Jones Black jones blanket bag jones blanket bag because they're huge mm -hmm. so mine is mine's got the black bottom and in the gray tartan yes 
with two pockets, two big massive front pockets which are very sturdy. Mm -hmm. um, so that's my little tulip from Amsterdam. Then inside you have one that you can put your tin in and then three that hold pens, cushion hooks, Needles. all the usual stuff, yeah. And then the back pocket, your back mm -hmm. po back one goes from side to side. Turn yours inside out, Linda. Turn mine inside yeah. out. Yeah, yours empty, isn't it? Yeah. Sorry. So we turn it inside out, you can see then what the pockets are like. That's better, isn't it? So, on the inside, so you get a small one that has lovely. so you have Linda's are made is a bit different so Linda's got the pocket in the middle and then she's got one for a crochet hook a pen. and one for a pen then the other side what's thingy on that what's that oh. something's wrong honey mm -hmm. so and then on the inside obviously your stitch marker holder with the stitch markers and this pocket goes from side to side seam to seam so you got a big one and i split it i split yours into two didn't i yeah split linda's into two but mine i split into three so i've got me notions pouch in there i've got nothing in that one and then i've got another one there and these are what's the size of these? Linda, you've got it down, haven't you? Yeah, I've got it down. Um, and they're, they're heavy, thick, heavy material. So they're seventeen by fifteen and a half by five and a half. So seventeen down. Yeah. By fifteen and a half across, and the depth of them. Yeah, is five and a half. Five and a half inches. Yeah. Just, yeah. So this is my one and that's the pattern at the back so as you can see but what june has done she's even though she's put the pockets in the pattern continues on yeah so where this I bit i did on mine exactly the same. yeah so as you can see which is amazing you know like that flower comes starts down here and works its way up so and i've got two nice pockets as well and this is mine with the green on the bottom oh it's tealy it's like a teal blue isn't it yeah so yeah and then there's my tulip from amsterdam yep and then i've made one that's going to go up on our page sometime this week yes and i've done the same again matched the pocket so it matches the material the way it goes up it's brown at the bottom so on these the bottoms i've i've done like a like a quilted quilted pattern on yeah, yeah to make them more like more steady yeah really. more st steady yeah, yeah, yeah more stable then you've got the two pockets two and they're thick mm -hmm. yeah. they are good then and then inside inside i've done this one the same as mine so this inside you've got the pocket goes from seam to seam you've got three pockets if you want two pockets at the back and you order it you just say can you just split me main me pocket in the inside into two or three i just thought into three is a bit better mm -hmm. um and then this side i've made three Three, three pouches for no, your four. pens. You've got three, three for the yeah, pens three for and your books or yeah, needles. Whatever. And then this one here mm -hmm. for your scissors, notion tin, whatever. And then obviously I haven't put any stitch markers on yet. And then your little holder there. So, so, there, yeah. then. so um, we do, as I said before, we do have a page on Facebook called Disney Sisters Creations where all, all our bags that are for sale are on there. Yeah, um, and you want it, it it'll be, the... yeah they'll be going up sometime this week. Mm -hmm. um, it's Thursday today, so hopefully by Sunday they should be up. Yeah. Um, and that. Yep. So, um, 
it's a set material. Yeah, so for dream knitting, really, or... Oh, what's missing? Oh, the butterfly. Yeah. And obviously you have our names here and, and the butterfly will go there as well. It's all right, so I did it with my bag, didn't I? Yeah. So we haven't got any really dream knitting because it's today, as we said at the start of this video, and if you're still with us, thank you so much for staying with us and I hope you've enjoyed it, um, is the start of Stephen West's Go Go Dynamo. So we haven't sat and watched it because we've been busy. Thursday mornings are busy for us, aren't yes. we, when you come here? Because <laughs> we go we go to Slimming World and that. So, And then after that, we go and do a bit of shopping. So the first clue has landed. And uh, just to remind you of what our colours are. In our Stephen and Penelope bag. Yes, so I'm using um, Dark Omen yarn called Grim and then what's this, one? this is Prue, the uh, punk, is it punk rock, uni punk rock unicorn um, in Melon Neon. So they're my two and my pop is going is called fandango so they are mine hold on those are mine so that is my main color which one's your prim i don't know which one's my prim uh, let me have a look at the name that's um kerry that's that one no right okay okay so um yeah so they're mine so this is my main color this is going to be a this is my contrast and that is my pot uh, my um yarn uh, my mohair day so i think it'll go with nice with either of them so yeah so thank you stephen mine is that heavy yeah so mine is mem mem okay yarn Kerry, 75% uh, merino and 25% polyamide. Yeah, we yeah. 400 meters. So I've got that's my. Is that going to be my main colour? Yeah, that's going to be a contrast. Yes. And then my next one is Pro Mossy Rock. Yeah, that's Mossy Rock. Yep. Yeah. And it's 85% merino and 15% nylon. And my glow here is Dijon see there yeah. Oops. and the reason I chose that is because it's there it's in the yarn yep so so that's mine and mine. this west wall um, is, is beautiful as I said I'm, I'm working with this already on the um, the kerchief I yeah. can't remember what it's called now. Yeah. Um, so anyway, yeah, and um, so Stephen helped you with them, didn't he? Yeah. I picked that one, didn't I? Because I mm. thought, oh, I've never thought of grey with green and gold. And I picked that one up and he went, oh. And then that was it then. Come with me. So yeah, picked up golds and mm. all different colours. But I, quite, I thought, sorry, Mum, I like that green. And then when he chose different colour, different, he chose some of your ones, didn't he? Mm. And then that sort of popped because it made. I think yeah, it made, none of. I think it made that colour there. You see that? That wouldn't have. Yeah. I think it mm. made this colour here pop, pop more. Yeah. Hang on, let me get my finger in it. Get up. That colour. Don't know if you can see it. But it just made that pop mm -hmm. more, I think. So, yeah. So excited to cast on and start. I've read a bit of a pattern. Yeah. So, yeah. We're all excited to start. Oh, yeah. So, I think that's all for us for today, isn't it? It is. It is. Hopefully, we might see you in a fortnight with an update on our works in progress. Yeah. And then we're hoping to do two videos a month, aren't yeah. we? Yeah. 
um, yeah. and that. So this is the uh, finished projects, what we did in September, mm -hmm. and uh, some of our whips. And I think the next one will be just about our whips. Um, we might even show you how far we are with our... Yep, make along. Make along, because oh, I am taking part in... Um, Shepia's, um, what's it called? Something of lights. Oh, I can't remember what it's called now. Anyway, Shepia's have got a blanket crochet along starting on the 6th of, 16th of October. And then Sophie is start on the 10th of October. Sophie from um, Botanical Yarns is do, started a Tis the Season um knit along um which is a sweater it starts on the 10th of october and goes right through to the 10th of december and there are prizes as long as you can use whatever pattern um you want as long as you use hair yarn and uh, so i'll i'll have <laughs> i'm taking part in three make alongs and then there might just be another video in between that the bags oh yeah yeah bags we might have more bags but it's definitely um we've got more bags going on the facebook page this weekend i think when this goes out on the sunday i think they'll already be up um i'll either get them up tomorrow or which is friday or saturday one of them two days mm -hmm. i'll get them up but uh yeah it's just been manic yeah one thing and another you yeah. know so yeah yeah so that's all from us so take care everybody stay safe but more importantly guys began to you and we will see you again soon bye, bye.